flinch right fully para right now crit two at the same damn time oh <laughs> no Let's go! Yes, sir, Ski! Yes! Yes! Your boy washed up. It's OMG High here, bringing you a third generation Wi Fi battle against my boy Renanite, aka Vec, aka ShadowKid17. He wrote the Pokemon Cypher for A-Star the Third back in 2012. If you don't know him, I recommend you check him out. Renanite. Please. Anyway, I got an OU battle. UU battle versus my mans, <laughs> Renanite. Uh, I let off with my Roselia. He let off with his Hypno. I had to get out of there. Y'all know the typings. I hope y'all know the typings by now. I'm not even going to get into that. So I bring in my Beamer. The Soul Rock. I go for the Choice Banner, Shadow Ball, and the Hypno. The Hypno takes a lot of damage. He knows he has to get out of there after that Seismic Toss. He can't pick me up any longer. He switches into his Fira because it just fully resists. I can't even affect it with the Shadow Ball because he knows I'm Choice Bandit. He brings in his Tentacruel. He goes for the Substitute as I try to scout it out with the Protect, which was probably the worst move on my part. If you will. So I got to switch out. I go back into Ace. My Grass type. My only Grass type. He goes for the Giga Drain. It's going to do zero damage. Because that's what happens when you use a Grass type move on a Grass Poison type Pokemon with a naturally high special defense stat. Which is why I'm going to survive this Ice Beam. If you will. Let's go. Let's go. Ace putting in that work. The Roselia putting in that work. We click the Giga Drain. We're max special attack. We're able to break the substitute through that man's massive special defense stat. That's what we had to do. That's literally what we had to do. That was the play. That was the key play. That was the only reason why I went for the Giga Drain to break the substitute. He's going to go for a second Ice Beam. He's going to kill me. But Roselia did his job. Kind of. It has spikes and all of that, but it didn't get to do all of that stuff. But, you know, it broke the substitute. You got it. Got, got the man's out of there. I bring in my primate. I go for the bulk up. He goes for the serve. He realizes that serve is doing zilch. Zero. No damage at all. He has to switch out. He goes into his Mr. Shine as I go for the earthquake, knowing that he knows I was going to go for the earthquake the following turn just to try to take it out. But I should have gone for the earthquake the first time. I should just always go for it. I knew he had a flying type on his team. I knew I could probably just survive a choice bandit drill pick if I needed to. He goes for his earthquake, which also does zilch zero, not a, not a damn thing. And I go for a second bulk up here because I'm getting greedy. Uh, I'm pretty sure a second cross chop would have killed this soul rock, but, uh, Hey, why not just go for the greedy bulk up? Just go for it. We're about to sweep teams. We bought a body bag, people, but this, this is not a body bag. It's far from. So I'm going to bring out my Aggron, and Aggron's about to put in the work as he goes into his Fero, realizes he can't do a damn thing to my mans, and I go for the substitute, and now realizing that he's in a terrible situation, he has to break the substitute because I can't just have the Earthquake, which I do not, which I should have, but I do not. So I have to go for the Thunder Wave here to paralyze the Tentacruel and putting this man in a wheelchair. <laughs> definitely helps the rest of this battle because i'm able to outspeed him go for the rock slide do a bunch of damage and he's going for his surf but i am max special defense sassy nature i'm pretty sure that's the 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 special defense nature that boosts that that thing up all the way to the maximum and lower speed uh yeah i go for it and then i go for the rock slide again and then i get the flinch the flinch the flinch <laughs> the flinch i'm telling you it's too easy out here for this agaron we go for three rock slides in a row and we don't miss a single one that's rare that's rare so he's gonna bring in his needle king and needle king is just gonna go for the revenge kill earthquake he's faster than me it doesn't matter it's four times effective it does agaron if y'all look at his base defense stat, it's 180 if you have it max defense it's still probably dying to any amount of earthquakes that hit it, no matter what Pokemon it comes from. So he's going to go for his earthquake. I go into Gen 5, the physically defensive Politoed. That's where I got the name from. That's 
it's easy it's the best set <laughs> so i go for the the uh the water pulse i don't have surf and i don't have surf for a multitude of reasons don't ask why i don't want to see anyone in the comments asking why i don't have surf but i definitely just carry the water pulse and i'm able to two shot this thing which i'm pretty sure surf would have also just been a two hit ko but if i had the hydro pump it's dying in a shot so he brings in his Dino Blade, the that's that's this Firo, right? That's how you say the name Firo? I don't know. You guys gotta tell me in the comments. Tell me how to say that. <laughs> that's Firo. I go for the double protect. You know how I gotta do it. I always gotta go for the double protect. Pain, pain, or no gain. <laughs> so he goes for the drill peck. I was thinking maybe if I get these two double protects off, I might have enough HP with my leftovers to survive it and hit him with an ice beam or maybe a toxic. I don't care. Uh, one of the moves. Uh, but no, that's not how it works out here. Uh, I really lost track of what was going on in those last couple of turns because I was not paying attention to the screen. <laughs> but uh, he brings in his, his Lunatone something happens i had to get out of there for some reason i think i don't know i did damage to it with something but uh oh hidden power grass did damage i had to check what hidden power this uh nine tails had in mid battle i had no clue i really had no clue even though i just gen it i had zero clue what hidden power i had it probably electric who, who would have known but i go for the hidden power grass uh i figured that out and i was like okay this is easy i can just keep going at this man's and it doesn't matter he does not carry the sidekick for some reason uh otherwise he was able to just keep setting up calm minds i'm not sure if lunatone gets moonlight or something but if it had rest that also would have been problematic uh but if lunatone got moonlight that'd be kind of cool and if soul rock got the other move what's it good morning sun bro that would have been super cool i'm not sure if they get it i'm gonna have to look that up later <laughs> so i'm able to kill the soul rock i went for the, the will o wisp because i'm trying to catch this thing this Firo, which is the highest damage output on his team as of right now i have the protect on my pokemon on my double on my double weather set uppers set uppers on fifth gen type B. you know i have protect on both of them because i like the scout out moves i think protects a broken move shout out the vgc not shout out the vgc i hate that format <laughs> oh he's able to bring in uh not able to bring in he brings in his dracia the hypno uh, we saw it in the beginning i'm still trying to catch this furo he's trying to set up uh reflex and stuff so he's able to just like you know survive hits from my soul rock but i'm trying to burn this thing because i definitely know after i burn this thing if I burn this thing, there's nothing it can do to my soul rock. None of the stab moves will work on my soul rock. And even if he did have the HP ghost or HP bug, it wouldn't work on the soul rock at all. Not a damn thing he could have done. So he was able to outspeed me with the return and uh, I'm able to outspeed him with the fire blast because it was a speed time. We both have hundred base speed. We both max speed. I'm pretty sure I'm timid and he's jolly. Had to be. And this is coming to the end of the battle. He's going to get hit by his burn and that'll be the game that was a good game versus my boy Renan Knight again I'm going to leave his link in the description y'all make sure to go check him out let me know what y'all know about this overlay what y'all think about this overlay uh it was made by my boy Xenon which we have to get a battle one of these days sometime soon hopefully and yeah if you haven't already liked the video make sure to click that like button make sure to click that subscribe button make sure to click that bell so you get notified on my next annual upload. You get me. I'm out. Goodbye.